Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Population Singular Town playthrough here. I hope you're all well. We have some beautiful stuff that we figured out in the last episode. All to do with beer and uh, still struggling with the bread, but we'll get it up eventually as well. And we got a whole bunch of apples coming through, loads of stuff going on. So we're in a much better place. Now, I will point out that another bandit camp has come up, so I've been letting it play slowly. We're in December now. Um, you'll see our food has gone down because the bandits came and robbed all me eggs. They robbed all me eggs. So their bandit camp is back up over here. And we've got one over here as well. So we need to go ahead and grab in some of our soldiers here. And uh, I'm going to start that now. And we'll go and deal with them because it is very annoying. And uh, these are armoured now. So we should be able to send them straight in. Uh, 269 on the population though. We're doing okay. These guys should be good. They'll get their weapons and do their thing. But look at this, 253 of flour. They are moving it over. And the communal oven should be smashing in the bread as much as they can. So I think they go and grab it themselves. So I'm going to make sure I get more people in. Hopefully get that going. We've got plenty of space for the workers here. And I'm still going to build in whatever we can to keep the eggs coming. So we have put in a load of chicken plots. Uh, can't build over here because of the size. But there's a few others. But these are larger chicken plots. A bit silly based on their size really. What we should do is uh, make them a lot smaller. So I might go ahead and do that whilst they're walking over. Let's just get in another one kind of in this little section here. I reckon that will have a business that does look like that can be a nice chicken one. Probably just fill out all of these to be chicken coops anyway. I'm trying to think, do I want a road to meet up there actually? I might do slightly less to there. Let's see if I can. No, it's not going to work. Let's just house it. There we go. Three more burgage plots. That's loads of space that we have anyway. I'm going to let these go out. I'll send these soldiers straight over to the other one as well. I do apologize, by the way, if I sound quite blocked up. It's because of hay fever. You can thank the good old pollen around the world. <laughs> and there it is. We're looking fab. So we're working on getting our sheep up, by the way. So as you can see, we are now up to nine. We're going to end up with a pretty big yield based on it. They've started planting them and it should be okay. Um, lots coming. Look at the wall now, 66. So we're going to be able to go into that. But look, we have 382 flour, 44 grains. So bread should be ramping up really, really soon. We just need the communal oven to, oven to actually kick in. I might even get a second communal oven. So we're going to go ahead and get another one in. Um, I think I might do this a little bit closer to this granary here. I might try it out with distance so they can walk. I think because the stuff goes in here, the flour, we're going to give that a go. I'm going to put high priority on that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and get another well closer over here. I don't think there's very good spots for it. We've already got one out here, have we? Yeah, I don't see necessarily one really close. Let's pop a well there as well. I know we had one somewhere around here. I can't quite see it. But that's fine. All of the houses are good apart from the bread. So that's all we're kind of waiting on. But guys, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. And if you haven't already, please do smash a thumbs up for me and subscribe as well. I love all things City Builder and survival-esque types of games. So if that's your thing, consider joining me over here. Look at this. Over 2k in our regional wealth now. I'm hoping a lot of that will come up. I'm going to send these straight in. Hopefully, it will be fine. I may even fight on this hill, actually. Let's let them come to us. Look at that one trader just solely on the road by themselves. What is that? There's a shrine there, too. We'll make quick work of this, though. Or we should do, anyway. It shouldn't be a problem at all. I'm going to send them straight in. And there we go. That should go down pretty damn quickly. There we go. Right, you both are going to go over to this. I'm going to send them both because I'm going to march them up towards this one afterwards. And we're going to keep that for ourselves. Now, I will point out, just on the map, he has decided to take that one now as well. So he actually, he's got raiders in his lands. He owns all of them bar this. So it's going to be interesting when we come to actually fight. I'm not quite sure what happened to meat, by the way. But the uh, the white, the rich deposits of wild animals just seem to be quite broken now. I'm actually going to put the hunting limit up to 20. I'm going to let it grow again before we do anything. And there we go. We're going to take that for my own treasury because we definitely don't need the dollar and then these guys we're going to send on up into this one here by right, lots of construction coming in i'm just slowing it down and i'm going to turn on some of these uh imports now for some of these so we're going to always try and 
make sure we're importing some of the food to get a bit of variety. And we're never going to need vegetables and apples anymore, but we're going to want to keep these guys kind of up, I think. Um, just because of the nature of it, the winter at the moment, we can't get the berries in. I think we'll be okay once we get these numbers back up. I'm just letting the wild animals grow a bit before we kind of start hunting them again. So I'm going to get them back up to 20. But we have more than enough money to factor that in anyway, so it isn't a problem at all. And loads of burgage plots that are going to be used for eggs when we've got them in as well. So they have been massively nerfed. It'd be nice to see able to get just a small amount of chicken meat from the chickens for sure in the future. That would be a game changer because at the moment they don't have much use other than that. Now there we go. I am seeing it come in. They're struggling. So they bake really, really slow in the communal oven. Um, but it's because of our demand on bread. So we just need to make sure that that does go in. There's some that we can upgrade to level 3 still, but I'm not going to touch them yet. All right, here we go. Caught that just in time. Let's send them straight in. Shouldn't be a problem at all. And we're on one month of food, but I'm just changing it up. We should be fine. We'll deal with these nice and quick. And then lots of people coming in. So I might get a second um, thingy in. So a second marketplace, to be fair. I think that's probably a really, really good idea. We can get another amount of people on that. So if I get another one of those in, we'll just we'll continue bringing up the trade. up. I'm not too concerned because we're buying it in. So it'll all be fine anyway. Um, we don't need any more money for ourselves. So I'm going to send them to my nearest town. I'm going to gain the wealth for myself here because we've got loads of it. But I think that's worth having. I'm going to sprint these back and get back to life as we know it. As you can see, most of them, we were buying in the helmets and they're pretty damn good. So yeah, just those shields on is going to be incredible. And there we go. We bought in the eggs, bread, berries. So we've got a nice variety going into the houses, hopefully now. So that should be fine. And to be fair, the more houses we upgrade, we're going to be making money naturally anyway. So getting in another trade post and ramping that up is going to be a good idea. Let's disband those guys and let's just slow it down one second. And let's go in and make sure we are still okay here. Exporting war bows and shields. We're importing helmets still. I'm going to keep that going because it's no problem. And we're still importing the barley and wheat as well. That's perfect. And then we're importing the actual stuff. We've got that much money. We could even import some more honey if we wanted to as well. So I could probably turn these up to 20. I'm going to do that just in case. And the vegetables and apples I think will be fine over time anyway. And then we're going to get... I wonder if it sticks the same. It does. So it sticks the same trades which we have set up. So I can just fill this up to make even more sales here. There we go. Perfect. And by the way, in the last one, we did get the last... We got extra storehouses in. We've got extra stuff going. I'm going to keep assigning across to these to make sure we're distributing. And we did get another granary in as well. Look at all that beer. <laughs> so much beer now. But yeah, the other granary did go in over here as well. There's not a lot going on in this one at the moment, but it will do eventually once the uh, ingredients come in as well. So we'll leave those going. And I'm going to go ahead. What I didn't do is get in the extra farmhouse here. I'm going to get three in there. And we're also going to get permanent livestock on that one. So we've got the extra farmhouses now. Loads of fields anyway. So if we zoom out. Oh, you can't see them. I was hoping we could do that if you could zoom out. But there we go. The requirements are looking good. I did tune down the saw pit a little bit. Because we actually have so many planks. 150. <laughs> Wild stuff. Now, I'm going to see if we can turn back on the selling of shoes now as well. And this trade post, we can put in the other two horses. So, we've got them spare. Let's get all that going. And then we're going to go back into commodities here. And we're going to pop the shoes back on now because we have loads. We have too many. I think we're going to have to get a second communal oven in too. This, we did do that already. What am I on about? It's over here. Sorry. <laughs> Miles away. Let's get the families assigned to that one. Try and get the cooking going nice and quick as well. We still have 55 flour sitting in the windmill. There's so much going on, honestly. And then we should be good. I think I'm going to buy in some more. We've got 10 sheep at the moment. 93 pasture space based on whether we've got them in here. We're going to need to make sure we have a generic pasture knocking about as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put it by this sheep farm here. Just in case. So when we, when we run out of stuff, they can go into this pasture. Here. And it makes use of this... Uh, you can put pastures on both of these to surround these kind of bits. That makes a use for these uh, bits here, doesn't it? And it'll look quite nice, I think. Look at that. Four and a half K. Jeez, man. Let's buy in more food. We are loaded right now. There we go. It didn't take long to buy it all in and get our food back up, did it? And then we're going to be good over here. Let me just check in and make sure Malt House and stuff is still running. It is. 
Lovely. Hunter's camp now should be back in stock. There we go. We got it back up to 20, so that's good. I think that'll be better. I think they went a little bit too low and the replenishment wasn't working very well. But now we should see all of our farms kind of coming in. Let's check on our yields here. So that's see, it. it's not it's not showing up right. Yeah, it's not showing up right. The barley, I actually have a bunch of it ready, but it's not showing up up here actually. So maybe don't trust that, like I was saying a couple of episodes ago. Very weird. And they're taking a while to get those ones going. There's no problem at all. Look how many we can upgrade if we want to do it as well. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm holding fire just for now. Although, let's just keep an eye and just see. Look at the amount of large shields we have. It's just crazy, man. And small shields. <laughs> sell, my friends. Sell. There we go. We can get our berries back on now as well. Nice and full. Perfect. Let's get loads of food in. Veggies are starting to come in. The apples will come in towards the end of the year. And our yield should be even more. We've got loads here, so... I think we finally stabilized this and let's get these now upgraded to fit more people in uh, look at that loads of bread coming in how's the other one doing yes nine bread see it's the distance so you gotta be careful what you want to do is make sure your flower granary is closer that was our biggest problem all along that's what i've done wrong so the travel this time is just too long exposed stock is getting soaked huh that time you became a burgage plot tier two then and let's get another house up to tier 3 now. I'm doing them slowly. But we can get an extra point. Look at this. Food five months now. We are fixed. I still haven't decided what I want to do. We said charcoal burning. But actually, genuinely don't think it's a good idea. Bakery extension, I don't think it's a good idea at this point. We could get rye. Grown in places with lower fertility could be good. We could also go into this, which gives a passive income of meat. It's not a bad one, is it? Or we can get beekeeping. Double capacity berry deposits. I don't think that's ever very good. This one is good, though. I may just get passive income and meat on that one. Yeah, that might be what we do. We'll see. All right, with everything that's going in at the moment, let's make use of actually getting some yarn on the go. So I'm going to grab the weaver's shop. I'm just going to see where we're storing a lot of our... Yeah, weaver's shop can go over here, then. Let's pop the weaver's shop in just over here. And then I'm going to turn back on the mining deposit over here as well, just to slowly get in the rest of that clay. Let's take a moment just to absorb the beautiful town on the hill. Oh, look at all the orchards in the distance. The farms. I'm really, really impressed with how it's come out. I love how the farms kind of integrate around the roads there look, as well. Just looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Up into town. I hope we can get to cobbled roads eventually at some point as well. But just look at it. Oh, so happy with that. Look at all this food coming in. I'm just going to get a massive stockpile of it now. What we're going to need to do, though, is factor in making sure we've got granaries coming in like crazy as well. And I'm going to start to upgrade some of these plots now to just to pull in a bit more dollar. I think that's smart. And then these guys, I may as well top up the granaries. I'll keep a couple of people spare, but we're going to get more families in now. And then lack of entertainment. I don't know why they're saying that. We've got one, like, beer is flowing like crazy. Oh, that was previous, sorry. And then not enough food variety on the marketplace as well. So what I'll be doing for the foreseeable, I think we're fine at the moment. We're, with this on the go, I'm going to set that to high. I'm going to start getting some yarn in and we I might even convert a new house to we need a separate place for it. I might just get a bit of an industry one over here. Let's see if we can do something. I think we're out of wood at the moment for all the building we're doing. It does look like we can get a small business there though, so I'm going to go with that one. And this one is going to become the clothing shop one there. And we've actually run out of stable space now. So let's go ahead and grab a couple more hitching posts in. And let's get those going. Probably get that one at first. I'm going to order one more ox in. Uh, Weaver's Workshop did finish. So let's take a look. Let's get that going. We'll make some yarn. Then once the yarn's done, we'll slowly just bring that in. We've got 77 wool sat here. Now have 11 sheep without buying them in. So it's looking really good. Now I'm going to set that one to high. They'll get that built now. And then we're actually running out of house space. It's crazy. How are my eggs doing now, guys? Oh, look at this yield of vegetables. We're about to get apple yield in as well, which is going to be crazy. But I hover over, we still have a load of flour anyway. 266 to be precise. 165 bread. All along, I did it all wrong. 
I reckon I can get rid of this communal oven, guys. I think that's just silly having this one on the go now. To be fair, I am tempted to get rid. I'm doing it. I'm going to get rid. And I might get another granary in there. That will be sensible once these ingredients have gone. And that burgage plot did go in. Oh, no, that's a just a living size one. That's fine, then. I don't think I can put business in there. So we'll, we'll have to come up with a better spot. I might even pop it over here. We don't necessarily need way more hitching posts. So, yeah, that'll be perfect. Although I don't necessarily need it to be so big. All I need is for it to be able to do business. Like that. That's perfectly fine. So this is going to be the one. Let's get that one up. We're getting the logs back in now as well. And the good thing is, when we've got the surplus of those, they stop buying them. Gold's just going crazy. We do need to remember that some of these may not... They may change in price as well. But I think we could probably go ahead and just check in a second with our army. 28. Okay, retinue all, almost all got helmets as well, which is incredible. And yeah, bread is very viable now if you actually set it up correctly. My bad, guys. Just make sure you have it right next to it. And I think this brewery is just absolutely smashing it out when they need to as well. So the tavern's always got booze in based on uh, this granary here. 94 ale. I need to stop doing so many beer now. I don't think we need as many. So we may even be able to stop it a lot of the time. It looks like a lot of these fields can be swapped around as well, like this one. 50% wheat. Let's get the slightly less barley going next year. That is crazy. Look at these numbers, guys. Seven months of food. Right, I'm okay just to ramp up the size now, I think. So we are safe. And I think I'm going to bring it down this way. I'm going to just start, probably, fill this section in. So they can have some businesses. Do I want two? There we go. Two there. We've got 97, over 300 now, but then 105 plus the two being built. So that's good. And we're quite happy. Lack of entertainment still. Shouldn't be. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to upgrade you guys to level 3 yet. We can do some, to be fair. I think I'm officially rich. Look at this. Oh my god. I could even set up tax, couldn't I, here? It's time. Let's open the castle planner. Although we haven't got the wood. <laughs> we haven't got the wood, so we'll, we'll get that going. Let me see. I'm now planting. You see all the trees are coming in. I actually put two people in the forester's hut, and they just started planting like crazy. It's great. And then the... Uh, we do have logs, they're just not dispersing quick enough. So let's fill this up as well then. Let's get all of our trading posts going. And then I'm going to go ahead and get another ox. And I'm going to upgrade that as well. And then livestock, I'm going to keep going because we've got lambs. But I'm going to go ahead and try and get some in. Try and buy in a bunch of sheep here. I'll probably just... We've got two families we can get in there when we need it as well. And then there we go. We have some yarn coming in. Lovely. Alright, did my house finish? It did. So this burgage plot then, this is going to be the one we want to make a... Is it a tailor's workshop? I think. But it's going to need to be tier 2 first. So it just needs some food going in. They'll disperse the food across in a moment. we just got to wait for it. I just want to point out how big the town has become right now. It's crazy. I love it as well. It looks gorgeous. Nice. I think those three sheep are stuck there forever, by the way. Oh, bless them. All right, more bandit camps coming in. They're always really close, which is actually really good for us. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to grab these two again. I know I keep doing it with these guys, but they're good enough to get the job done, I think. We'll send those in. I'm not concerned. Just send them straight in. One might be enough anyway, but I just want to try not to lose as many people as I can. We're still hovering around that 306 mark. Look at this money now. So I think we can definitely up the amount of food we're buying in here guys and i think that is we are safe just to keep going up so berries i'm going to go to 50 i think bread i'll keep at we've got 250 bread in so we're fine i think eggs we might go to 50 vegetables we're good apples are good and then meat will go to 50 as well and maybe unlock the honey trade as well because why not right let's get i don't know 50 honey in as well because why the hell not and sheep coming in nicely as well so i'm hoping they bring up this quite massively wouldn't mind them spreading out across the fields would be a little bit nicer but they don't seem to do that so i guess you need a whole bunch of them there's some just sitting in here go and eat on there all right this still not ready so what do we need here we need food over here 
All right, is it time for another granary over this way? So we were going to pop one in here, weren't we? Let's do that. Please fit. There's no way you don't fit. Damn. That's unfortunate. That should fit right there. Okay. Uh, Where do we want the next granary then? I want to be able to obviously get them. That's unfortunate. That really should fit there. Okay. We can't build on this hill here then. So let's just pop that in there. And here they go. They have come out. And in they go. It should be a nice, easy kill. I'm going to speed it up so we can take this over. Boom. Let's see how quick they kill them. Because they now have helmets. They shouldn't actually die. We shouldn't lose any. Nope. Nice and easy. Nice. You can come back. I love it, man. This game is adorable. I'm so glad. Like, I've, you know, when you finally turn the corner and you actually realize what you were doing wrong the whole time. I can't get over it. Look how much bread we have now. Oh, I'm hoping we can pick these apples in a moment, too. And I think I want to get some more vegetable garden houses in. So like this one is very silly putting uh, goats in here, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and demolish that and put that back to a vegetable garden because it's just too big for goats, right? Um, these are all apples, so I'll leave that. They're all chickens, good. And then what I might do is get another maybe two or three over this way now. And I'm not going to be concerned with whether they level up or not. They're going to be little goat houses here. Look at that. Those three. Although, let's try it again. There we go. That should be fine. That could be a row of goat houses right there as well. And then nine months of food, nine months of fuel. If we timbers back up loads as well, so that's really, really good. Have I got space for any more? I'm just going to hover over. We've got no stable space. Oh, we've got one stable space if we want to get more in. Look at these sheep now. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm tempted. We're still making some serious money, so I'm just going to go ahead. Although, oh, global undersupplied, it's costing us 30 a go. I'm just going to buy them in anyway. We've got so much money. There's the burgage plots, and these are going to be goats. All of them. And then we should have enough to keep it going here, because we're actually out of hides. We have plenty of shoes. Oh, no, 32, so they are going down. Cool. Weaver shop's looking good. Did we get what we need to upgrade this yet? Not quite. Still need some clothing in here, guys. That'd be wonderful. And there's the other granary. So I'm going to get that one upgraded and assign people in. So bread's already going in there. We actually have 10 months of food now. Holy crap. Save me from the bread. Right, I should be able to ramp this up and try and get two families a month in then. This marketplace is almost filled up to... Holy crap, man. You guys are fast. Wow. We're going to need another marketplace somewhere. And we, we are definitely not even able to uh, sell quicker than we can buy here. So are we war bows are still... So I might even just leave them exporting for a cheaper rate at the moment, guys. It's just crazy. No trade on these. Let's export the small shields once more. And then we'll set that. We'll leave the large shields. And what we'll do is flip the large over to small. The joiner shop itself, don't I have to create. And I'm going to get that one upgraded to level 3 now as well. It's really close to the marketplace. There we go, 323 on the population, next house going in, so we only need four more for the largest town here. And I think I am going to get the, I don't even think we need the passive meat, this is what I mean, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy what we can get, and we've got 32 honey in, so there's a nice selection of foods across the board here. Yeah, apples coming in now as well, holy crap. <laughs> and we got loads more wheat and barley coming in too. Wow, chill guys, chill, you're just too good right now. Right. We have 21 sheep as well, so they're just buying those in like crazy. I think I'll slow down on those now. Let's pause that one up. And the rest of the money can be just worth buying stuff. So we're going to need to now look at... So maybe the charcoal might be a good idea, so I don't need to worry about wood splitting and stuff. You guys need to go and pick all that up before it gets bad. And nearly 100% now on that, so there should be a lot of variety in, which is awesome. And let's just take a look now. At the, oh, God. I've got to uh, disperse you guys. Sorry, mate. And do you? Do you want to grab that? <laughs> Let's send the resources to my town because why not? I don't need the cash. 5.2k influence now. And 100% public order. 99% approval. 9k. Loads of sheep. So if we get to a point where these are breeding like crazy, I'm actually just going to go ahead and uh, sell some. But actually, we need probably like 100 or so. And we have 12 months of food. So... Let's get, let's just take a look. We're going to be getting a lot of wool in. So let's get the weaver shop going. And then let's see if they're now distributing to this one, which they are. That one isn't ready. That one needs to be expanded for living space. This just needs to be a burgage tier two. 
And this one here is going to be my clothing shop. So we're going to get that one in. That should help with the rest of them here. And three more, and we are the largest size town. I love it. It's just so beautiful. Right, what are you complaining about here? There's nothing there that needs refueling. Oh, people require fuel at their burgage block. Freaks. Sort it out, mate. Right, we're in September. Let's keep it going. Let's get all these expanded where we can so we still can fit people. We're still fine on housing. But I want this one done because this is going to be my clothing place. And I think, let's just have a look at how many market stores. There's three, eight still market stores located over there. I might squeeze another marketplace in this bit then. Make use of that. Do that now. That'll be cool. Let's get that in there. No harm, no foul. And another one right here. And yes, it's only small, but I think that's pretty cool. It's like a little market area around this granary. That is super cool. Right, what do we have? Pantry is full. Someone go and relieve this pantry of its goods. All right, I think it's probably time we pour something like the Fletcher shop because that is just silly. Right, you're back. There we go. Everyone's home and we're all good. Nearly 10k on the money now. I am actually just going to play till I've got stupid money too. It'd be good fun. And there we go. So, business-wise then, what do we need? Five planks. That is the one, isn't it? Let me just look. Yes, that is the one we need. So it's going to be the tailor's workshop. We just need to get some more planks. And I've uh, upped the amount of people in there again, so we should be fine. And there's so much grain coming in. Let me just slow it down and make sure, see what's going on with the harvest for next year. Barley, wheat. The barley's not good, so we should be fine, though. Just want to point out, guys, once this is done, are you seeing how much wheat we're going to have next year? Oh, my God, it's going to be hilarious. Right, let's get another farmhouse. Can I squeeze one of you somewhere? Might squeeze a farmhouse down here now as well, just to buy the cliff edge here. That's quite cool. And then I'm going to plan some roads out this way. So we're going to see what we can do. Might just bring that like so. And then, for now, we'll just bring it around like this. And then we'll start to bring some of them into here for when we expand to it, because we're inevitably going to. If you think about it, we're on 331, so we're probably going to end up filling this whole area as well. So I want to get a nice few roads sorted. Not the most efficient with how I'm shaping them, but I don't care. It looks nice. We're just going to split them down the middle, like so. And then maybe another one down here. Is that going to be good enough? And then we're going to want to bring this down here. So I have a dead straight one there. But I'm going to bring it right across the cliff edge. And I'm going to follow it all the way along until it goes into there. It's very steep. And we're not going to be able to build on this little bit with housing. So it's probably best that I bring in that as well. Look at all the sheep. I don't think we have a fallow one this year. So the sheep can just multiply in the field. All right, army is officially full. So I think we can hire one more. I'm tempted to get another. I might want to try the pole arm. Militia. We're not buying them in, though. It's just easier to get the spears right now. We've got spare helmets in stock as well, so we could get them. Yeah, let's just do it, because we have the extra people there. They'll get some helmets in, and we'll still make the shields then. And stuff like that as well. That's cool. Right, let's check in on the prices here of everything. Let's make sure we're fine. Right, they're all on lower, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and... We've got no trade on that. Let's no trade war bows and let's no trade the small shields hold on we need to make sure we're okay we're importing iron slabs we're exporting leather let's take no trade on the leather now because that's where it's all going and then let's uh let's get the commodities let's get the shoes we'll keep it let's go to 30 on the shoes once more that's what's making us a lot of money and then when we get in another clothing we'll start exporting that so there's the tailor's workshop but do we even have a family in there? That is the question. don't think so. And then we'll go general. What are we going to make here? So that's linen. Linen and dyes. That's yarn and dyes. So we need to make dyes from berries. It's going to be cloaks. So I'm yet to even try the dyes stuff out as well. So the dye one. Where is that? There it is. So work, workers convert berries into dye. It's no problem. We'll just chuck that there because that one is going to be fine to utilize anyway. We're buying in what we need. 1k food right now. Apples are insane. Quite literally insane. And windmill hard at work. Communal oven hard at work. Oh, man. So one... just want to point out that one brewery, one house, tier three, double, double built with a brewery, is absolutely smashing the beer that we need. 
So it's saying they don't have the ale. It's just taken a while to distribute it. But as you can see, it is fine. I'm going to upgrade this Fletcher's. It's turned off at the moment. And then the chicken one's here. I'm going to get upgraded when we can. So that's two more. We're going to need one more to tier three. And it's going to be one of these when we're ready as well. I think these are tier one down here that we can squeeze upgraded as well. So this is all extra money. And then in here, we are going to make the cloaks when we can. Now, just want to point out, we got a year's worth of food and nine months worth of fuel. We are running out of the flour, but we're milling more up, I think. So these guys are working hard to get that done. Farmhouse is complete, so I'm going to add a plowing station. Get that to highest priority. I'm going to go ahead and order in one more ox. And I'm going to assign it over this way. So I think all our farmhouses should have livestock all right there's one more thing i'm going to do in here i'm going to turn ale back on in this large granary to get the extra people distributing it we're okay now we've got all this in um just to make sure they're distributing from multiple granaries here and i'm going to get them all maxed out now that we don't need to worry about it that should be fine the only one we don't want to do is make sure the grain moves from over here see why is this one got ale in it it's really really strange i don't know whether it's because they're chilling at work and they're just drinking i don't know <laughs> I think it needs a little bit of work. Sometimes they do go in. So 346 on the population. That should hit 350 in a moment as well. And look at this. The sheep just flying in. We're not even buying any right now. They're just scattering away. Getting their nookie on. <laughs> All right. Let's get three in this one. And let's assign a permanent thingy in there. So we've got an extra person in the farmhouse just looking at the next harvest wheat wheat doesn't look right but barley is stupid amounts i love it give me the beer we have a hundred yarn right now too so dye workshop should be in i'm gonna make sure we have the berries here we do plenty of berries so we're gonna knock up some of that and we're gonna start getting in our next clothing piece and that will satisfy some of these so if we click on them oh, it's just tavern supply actually is that because we just don't have enough people serving maybe Let's go for another one. Another fam. We've got plenty of people. And I'm going to go ahead and get the last ones upgraded. So that's one. And then not going to upgrade. I think I can go to tier two on the goats over here. And the last one there. Let's get the last ones in and we'll get our point. And then we're going to be a large town. Which is another achievement that didn't pop when I got it last time. Interesting. But yeah, getting them. Let, don't let them dip, say, 20 now. That seems to be the much better number here that's working. We just one person on it. And I need to decide what I'm doing in here. I'm just going to take another look. The import prices go down by 10. Maybe do that. Yeah, that's the one. If we go better deals, we can just keep buying everything in. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go better deals, guys. I know I was going to do the passive income of meat, but actually, if I reduce this down on import prices, I can just, I can just buy it in, right? That's what we're going to do. And there it is. The settlement level increase. So I think I'm going to go with this one. There we go. And then if I come in here, then that should mean import. Yeah, look how crazy this is. That is just so broken, guys. I'm sorry, but that is broken. <laughs> it's just mental. Oh, my God. Does that mean I can just import wheat like crazy as well? I can. Oh, my God. I'm just going to see how many I can make here. This might turn into a 2000 K pop. Oh, 2K pop. Bloody playthrough. That is insane. And there it is, 100% approval achievement in a large town. Thank you. I love this game, man. It is awesome. Look at this. Have our other marketplaces started to fill in yet? I'm excited for when these guys fill in. That'll look really cool. I think we're just waiting on... Oh, we've got six stall locations over here still then. And I think I'm going to build some generic housing out this way now. I don't want to go too much onto the farms. I think we build just up to this point. And then we get more houses just over here. I reckon I could probably start planning these. So we got... What we got? Yeah, we don't have that many spare. There's no harm in just getting a bunch of them in. So they're going to be... Probably going to fill this whole section. Problem is, actually, we don't have the planks. The boards here. To do this. There we go. We got two in for now, then. Just start spit filling out this way. And then... I don't know whether... Is it worth ever getting, like, second churches and stuff? I guess it's not. They only want one. And this one's still waiting for a business, so what do we want? Food just isn't a problem now. We can kind of just go into mass producing stuff. Maybe a goat shed. We'll get some more goats in because shoes are propping us up sale-wise as well. But even if we go to the low export, the money we're making now is just going to be so crazy. 
You know what? That does mean we can now buy in firewood or charcoal. Let's take a look. This is what I mean. That is just nuts. So if we go crafting materials, I'm, I'm guessing it's under here. Charcoal. Look at that. Five for charcoal. Well, hello. We're just going to import some charcoal right now. Let's just say we always have, like, I don't know, 30 charcoal in because it just costs nothing. <laughs> and now we can just spam our houses in. And I think we've hit max army. I think we can keep going. No, that is max. So the next one then is just to level up the retinue. So that just means I could probably import wood also. It's just crazy, man. There we go. We'll get that ready for when we build it. It's a tax office and a thingy tower as well. So once that's in, we'll build it too. And that'll look really good. All right, there's lots waiting to be upgraded to tier three. I'm going to hold fire. There's some still tier ones that I need to get upgraded as well. So I think I'll focus those ones for now. And let me just see. We've started to get dye in now. So we should officially be making... Look at that. We're getting some cloaks in. Yay. Obviously, we could buy them anyway. <laughs> let's um, let's actually look at this. It's kind of broken trading. I won't lie to you. I think it needs a bit more work. Um, when you're in a position like we are right now, like this, I can just go ahead and just say import, I don't know, 20 bloody hoods right now. And they'll be more than happy. And they'll be fine. We're just making too much gold right now. Oh, we've got some raiders that have entered our land, though. Let's deal with these before we end out. So let's get the army out. You don't want to go there, guys. We're going to have some fun with this. Bring it on. We don't want you running, though. Let's get you over here. And let's fight. Let's fight, baby. They're coming. I see them. So let's get the archers behind. Let's get them over here. You can go there. They can come up, and then you, you, and you can come up here. Got to fight in the woods here, and then archers. I mean, I'll set them to shoot. We'll see if I can get a flurry on these guys and do something, but can't really see in the woods, I won't lie. If you hover over your army, you can see it a little bit better. They're shooting at them, but not doing much. Get them, boys. Straighten on the retinue. There you go. You guys collapse in on the next lot. Let's bring them around. Archers, you keep shooting. We've got one back there. I might just send you guys into that. Then. So we'll fight them with that singular. And then I'm going to bring these guys in to kind of fight that. That's it. Get stuck in. In the back. They've all got helmets on now. If you look, our soldiers all have helmets. They look awesome. We could still get the extra, um, what's it called on? We have broken them, though. It does seem that flanking works really, really well. I get stuck in on the next one there, mate. That's it, getting on them. You guys fine over there? Should be. Yep. You're way stronger. There we go. Is that job done? They're wavering over here as well. Archers, you could probably disband now. There we go. We can get rid of everything. I'm going to keep one maybe in the pit then. I know we built it over here, didn't we? We've got one in there. I don't know. Yeah, collecting body. They are working on it, so that's fine. Oh, 362 on the population. We have 124 families, 100% across the board. Loads of money, loads of sheep. Everything's just coming in like crazy now. You'll see, I think you'll see the charcoal coming in. I don't know where it stores. Over here, maybe? I have no idea. I can't see it. Oh, there. It's under the firewoods. Yes, yeah, so we've got charcoal in already as well. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, please do consider it as well. I hope you love the town for what it is at the moment and how crazy everything has just gone wild now. I think we can just focus and hammer through getting the houses in now. But as always, I hope you have a good day. Take it easy and I'll see you soon.